Hi guys, it's Russell here from The Presenter, presentation training and design services. And I want to show you how I personally would present a piece of software. So way back in my previous life, I was actually a, an IT trainer, believe it or not. And I was training people on very specific pieces of software. What I found was that showing them videos, uh, of people using the software and th having them trying to follow the mouse moving all around the screen didn't quite help people understand what the various different parts of the software did. So I decided to go back to the drawing board and start presenting things in a slightly different way. Fast forward about 15 years or so, we now have amazing tools like Prezi and also some great new features in PowerPoint that I think we can really maximize to help bring IT software to life. Let's take a look. I'm going to show you how I would do this in PowerPoint and in Prezi. Here goes. Start with PowerPoint and let's imagine that we're trying to train people on how to set up a LinkedIn profile. So what I've done here is I've taken a screenshot of my own LinkedIn profile and I want to focus in on the banner image. That's going to be the first part of my training. The um, bio, the little statement about yourself. That's going to be the next thing I focus in on. And I could then focus in on other elements if I wanted to. I'll just stick with those two for now so you get the idea. Now what I've done is I've actually taken one screenshot of my LinkedIn profile, I've copied and pasted it and then I've literally chopped out these bits and placed them back on top. So you can see that these are separate images that are just placed back in position on top of the main image. That's literally just a copy and paste and then cropping those images down and placing them exactly where they should go. Now what that enables me to do is duplicate slide one, like so, make the first element that I want to talk about nice and big and also right click and bring it to the front. And then everything else on my screen on slide two I'm going to click on picture format, go to my color options and actually gray those elements out. So I'm going to just select one of the color options that were there, the preset color options. I'm going to make everything grayscale that's in the background. And if I wanted to as well, I could also add some transparency uh, so it kind of slightly fades away. Um, and I'll leave things as they are. So the banner image is what I'm going to be talking about first in my training. So that's what I'm going to leave there. Now I'm then going to duplicate slide one again so that we end up with our kind of static phase where we go back and see the whole LinkedIn profile. I'm going to duplicate it again. Bear with me on this. You'll see this come together in just a second. And the next thing I want to talk about is the um, profile, the little statement about yourself that you can enter. Um, and then I'm going to select everything else. I'm going to do the same thing under picture format and select grayscale. And if I want to as well, I will add some transparency to these like so. And then I'm going to duplicate the entire view of my LinkedIn profile again. So I'll duplicate slide three and I'll place that underneath so that we've now got five slides. What I want to do now is select all the slides, click on transitions and make sure that my favorite new PowerPoint feature I've always selected and that's the morph transition. And what this means is that if I go into present mode now, you'll see this come to life. If I hit the right arrow, you can see we now get a magnification of the banner. That then goes back into place. If I then click the right arrow again, the bio zooms towards the, uh, the viewers or towards my audience and this is what we're going to talk about next. And then I click again and that falls back into place. So it's a really, really nice way of taking what can be a very complex screen to look at. There's a lot going on. Uh, on the LinkedIn uh, website 
and there's a lot going on in various different bits of software that you will no doubt have to try and train people in. So let's remove the distraction and focus in on the different elements one at a time. If we remove that distraction, people will be able to focus much more and you can talk about a very specific part before you move on to the next element. So that's how I would present software inside PowerPoint, but let's take a look at how we can do that in Prezi. So a great thing about Prezi is that it already comes with some fantastic templates, and if you haven't seen it yet, this particular template is probably one of the best ones when you are dealing with um, teaching IT software or anything like that. So I'm going to use this template, of course. So for now, I'm going to keep things simple and I'm actually going to delete all of these um, different sections that come inside the template. And I'm just going to drop on my LinkedIn profile page the same as we did uh, inside PowerPoint a second ago. So I'm going to go to insert and image upload my image and try and find that on my very messy desktop. There we go. So whilst that's loading, I can actually resize it and just get it to fit that screen perfectly. Now, obviously, I'm not doing any of the other obvious stuff like adding a title to my presentation and things like that. We're just focusing on how we would present software uh, in the different tools at the moment. Now, the beauty with Prezi, of course, is that we can zoom into anything we like. So unlike PowerPoint, where we were getting those different areas to kind of pop out uh, from the rest of the screen. Inside Prezi, we're going to use animations. And the specific animation we're going to use is a zoom area. And you literally drag and drop these zoom areas wherever you want them to go. So I'm going to put my first one on top of the um, uh, profile pick and the banner pick. Then what I'm going to do is uh, select zoom out to overview. So that will bring us back to the full screen. Then I'm going to add another zoom area and of course zoom into the next bit of detail that we want to focus in on. So it might be that little bio like we had in PowerPoint. It could be somewhere else uh, on the LinkedIn page. But after that animation, I'm going to click zoom out to overview again. So the last thing to do, of course, is just press the present button. And you can see that when I do that, not only have we got this beautiful looking overview within Prezi, but when I hit the right arrow, we actually zoom in to an area to talk about, and then we zoom back out on the next click, and we keep doing that throughout. So it's a fantastic way of helping people focus on a particular point within LinkedIn or any piece of software that you're trying to teach them. So I hope you found that useful and it doesn't have to be over complicated at all. What we're actually trying to do is simplify the process and make sure that when we are presenting about a specific part of a software, we actually magnify that and bring that to life for the audience so that they can fully focus on the area that we're discussing as well. If you can do that, if you can simplify things, you should hopefully be able to train people much better in how to use software and also sell software if that's your profession as well. So I hope you found that useful. For any more tips or if you want any more advice um, or you would like a one-to-one -one demo with everything that you saw here in just a little bit more detail, feel free to reach out to me directly on LinkedIn or email me on russell at the presenter.com and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.